My dad started the livestock trucking in 1951. This is all I've ever done. And uh, basically, um, when Mad Cow hit, um, we were approached by a trailer company that we sell trailers for yet today, but we also um, started developing trailers. So the, I got a call just out of the blue from Italy one day, and uh, Giorgio Pezzaioli, he's the president, and he owns Pezzaioli Trailers. They want, heard about us, wondered if they could come over and talk to us, and uh, they wondered if I'd come over and take a look. So I looked at what they had, and uh, I ordered a trailer while I was there. And uh, basically, um, we're the dealer for all of North America. So, and they will give us upwards in the next two years between 100 and 120 trailers. These trailers, the floors lift hydraulically, so you can put different sizes of animals along with different breeds of animals, so they're much more versatile. Um, the lifts, roofs lift hydraulically um, to get more room on the top floors and get air ventilation when you're stopped uh, to those ones that are closest to the roof where all the heat rises. The, every compartment's got fans in them. Every compartment has drinkers, misters. We can even do cattle bowls for cattle because we now haul cattle hydraulically. Um, even the roll-up door at the back is hydraulic. Okay, there's everything's on a, a wireless remote. Plus, we got two other backups um, in case there's failures. Um, basically, what we've got going here is we got. Lots of storage underneath. Um, things, everything is North American dies, like I said, but there were still things that we, like it's got anti-rollover stability to it. That is European yet type thing, but is coming to Canada and North America. Um, it's already, the man, some of the other manufacturers are in this. Tons of storage boxes underneath it. Um, galvanized frames, just even the air tanks for the braking system are stainless steel, so we don't have corrosion. The lift system is very different because on the North American ones, we use cables and pulleys with horizontal rams that extend out, which pulls the cables, which lift the floors. You'll notice on this one, it's so smooth inside. And, um, they're all vertical rams. So that's why a lot less injury to animals because you have less moving parts near the animals. That's critical, okay? Um, the vertical rams are designed in such a way and um, because before it was always a big problem and when I was over in Italy, Giorgio, I says, Giorgio, don't you have problems uh, with the floors going crooked? And he says, well, we did 25 years ago. But it, he developed a system that times these floors and it's just, there's just not enough O's in the word smooth to describe this trailer. So typically on a, on a North American livestock trailer, we have plastic, it looks like plastic cardboard and it slides up and down between the posts of the trailers to ventilate or to keep heat in or cold out. Um, these are all metal and they're all tied together. Unfortunately, with the North American models, when we take one panel out, the animal that's right against that section is totally exposed, hot or cold. These you can crack in different graduations so that animal that's at the opening isn't having a direct effect on them. So that takes us about 15 minutes to panel up a trailer to 20 minutes, depending on how old and how fast you are. And um, basically five minutes, this one's all, all done. You'll notice in the video that the floors are flat and they're rounded, even to the side uh, um, where the underside is normally closed in extrusions to support the skin of the floor. You'll notice this was a sandwich composition so it's smooth underneath so we don't have all these these irregular shapes to go around makes it faster. Um, the sides are the trailer is all one piece 
and also it's double skin so it has it's about that thick and inside the wall is where all the water lines run which is actually part of the extrusions so you'll notice there was two two uh, stainless steel water tanks up on the nose of the trailer in between the water bowls of where the cattle was plus we had extra water tanks installed in this trailer for more supply so we can actually go down the road pumping water to these animals always okay at the same time you'll notice it has the fans in it. So with misting and fans and that, we can bring the, the, the inside temperature of that trailer down very fast. Much, much better than the standard trailers. Before, when a driver would have a, a, a malfunction of a truck or trailer or whatever the case may be, and he was broke down on the side of the road, he didn't have many tools to work with. We've got tools, you know, like, so you get that roof up, get the water going, get the fans going and stuff. And basically what we did with the trailers is um, from the floors down, we North Americanized them and stretched them out to 53 feet. So everything, so uh, the people can get, you know, their parts at their local store and stuff. The floors on up, that's all Italian and that's what I stock. And the technology's way ahead of us, it's like light years. We work these trailers just like they work their trailers every day. So they, they say, you understand what we're doing. This is what we're trying to accomplish.